Oh, well, if it isn't the renowned traveler. I'm Dory Sangama Bay, a traveling merchant. As an introductory gift, you can enjoy a 10% discount on all my wares and merchandise. Feel free to have a look. I'll even help package up your purchase. Free of charge. I love Mora, and Mora loves me. I make Mora, and it makes me happy. La 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 la. First, I mark up the price by 30%, and then I offer a 20% discount. More Mora for me, and the customers still feel like they're getting a bargain. Now that's what I call a win-win. With enough Mora, you can afford to do anything, even take on the academia. Stay dry. I have just the thing. This specialty umbrella collects and purifies rainwater, turning it into drinking water that is conveniently stored in this compact container. A real must-have for a traveler like yourself. And all that for only 500,000 mora. I bet even the caravans can't move under these conditions. Uh, I'm losing mora here. Oh, oh, oh! Check out my fully automatic snowball maker! It's one of a kind. Wanna give it a try? I'll even throw in a 5% discount on the rental. There's nothing more beautiful than shiny Mora glittering in the sun. <sighs> you gotta be kidding! Who would be crossing the desert on such a windy day? Oh, silly toadstools. What's that? Oh, I can get them out of there, of course. But I'll have to triple my usual price. <laughs> Good morning. Last night, I had a dream filled with lovely, round, shiny Mora. Seems like today, I'm gonna make a fortune. You wanna take a nap? I can offer you a soft, fluffy cushion that will perfectly conform to the contour of your back. Of course, the level of comfort also depends on how much Mora you're willing to pay. Traveling at night can be a real challenge, but for a seasoned merchant like me, let's walk in the park. Trying to sleep? <laughs> All right, I'll be generous and let you try my Mora hypnosis. Don't say I never gave you anything. It goes like this. 10,000 mora in my coin purse. 20,000 mora in my coin purse. 30,000 mora in my coin purse. 40... 40,000 mora. <laughs> mora. <laughs> Welcome to Dory's Divine Bazaar. Everything you need with service you can rely on. You name it, we've got it. Questions or troubles? I'm here to personally assist you. I tend to avoid people from the academia. All those rules and regulations of theirs make it nearly impossible to do good business. Although, those from the Kasharwar tend to be a little more sensible. <clears throat> Between the two of us, they signed a private contract with me. I have the Mora, they have the technology and crafting techniques. This collaboration will practically roll in opportunities for my business. <laughs> a Dory deal is always a lucrative deal. Planning travel in Sumeru? The desert can be pretty dangerous, you know. But don't worry, Dory's always got your back. Ta-da! This is the Desert Survival Kit, available to you for only 5 million mora. Buy it now, and I'll throw in an additional Rainforest Survival Kit, free of charge. This deal is available for a limited time only, so don't miss your chance. My mora is mine, and your mora is mine too. <laughs> 
Fine, fine. I'll be honest with you. The desert and rainforest survival kits are worth two and a half million mora each. But buy one, get one free sure sounds like a good bargain, doesn't it? Wow. Just look at it. My vision is so shiny and beautiful, isn't it? Don't you think you should pay me a fee for the privilege of seeing such an exquisite beauty? Once, some stupid toadstools thought they could get away with not paying what they owed. <laughs> Little did they know who they were messing with. Can you guess what happened to them? If weasel thieves could talk, I bet we'd have a lot in common. What they love most in all of Tavat is, of course, shiny Mora. Sounds like they've got good heads on their shoulders, if you ask me. You'd like to see a Sumter Beast? No problem. I've got more than you could ever dream of. I'd be happy to let you see them. For a fee. <laughs> you could say I know him. After all, I was the only merchant in all Sumeru who could acquire the full range of Genius Invocation TCG merch for him. And not bad, huh? I've gotta admit, it's pretty rare to see anyone from the Academia like him. Independent and with a good head on his shoulders. Plus, he's never been one to haggle over prices. He loves learning as much as I love Mora. I heard he makes a lot of little interesting gadgets, but he refuses to partner with me to mass produce them. He always says he's too busy with work, but really, it's just an excuse. <sighs> a shame, really. We could make an absolute fortune. He once came nosing around, asking my minions some questions to see what he could find out. Like I said, those academia people are just pig-headed and dishonest. Why should I take the risk of others prying into my business? Right, my young apprentice? Ah, oh, yeah. He's one of the Kasharwar people that I work with. Unlike the more close-minded people at the academia, he actually has his own dreams that he's fighting for. I, for one, really respect that. I secretly lent him some Mora, and I mean a lot of Mora, to build my palace of Alcazar's array. One thing's for sure, without Dory the benevolent benefactor, Kave would not be where he is today. <laughs> I hire her to help escort my caravans from time to time. After all, she's got the muscle, and her price is reasonable. When it comes to cost-performance ratio, she's always the best pick. Before Rex Lapis parted from this world, I'd say a little prayer every morning. Oh, great god of wealth up above, please bless my day with more Mora to love. But, uh, now, I guess I just pray to myself. Oh, divine Dory, right here and now, please bless my day with more Mora to count. <laughs> In Sumeru, Lesser Lord Kusanali has very few believers. Hmm? Am I one? <laughs> if she's willing to pay me, I'd be her loyal believer for all eternity. She's a good dancer, but definitely not making the most of her time by staying in Sumeru. I mean, it's a complete waste of her talent. If I took her on tour across all Tabat, do you have any idea how much more I'd rake in? Alice's range of eccentric novelties knows no end, which makes her by far my best supplier. <laughs> <clears throat> now that I've told you my trade secret, I think you should catch up on your tuition fees, hmm? Come on, pay up. She delivered several orders to me when I was stocking up on goods from outside of Sumeru. Her service is great and her prices are low. Oh, I think she's into pretty accessories. And I happen to have some handmade Sumeri specialties on sale. Want to buy some as a gift for her? I can give you a discount. You want to hear some stories? All right. It'll cost you a million mora. Well... Uh -huh. Okay, out of respect for our friendship, I guess I can give you a 1% discount. So that'll be 990,000 mora. Pretty good deal if you ask me. <laughs> You've got a good head on your shoulders. I'll tell you a story about a merchant. A long, long time ago, 
A merchant lost her way while she was out on the road. It wasn't long before she encountered a fog dive. Just as the fog dive was about to eat her alive, she said in a panic, Wait, Mr. Fog Dive, don't eat me. I've got a story to tell you. Please, have a listen, and if you like what you hear, then perhaps you would spare me. The Fog Dive agreed to listen, and the merchant began to tell her story. It was about herself, from a time when business was not doing so well. Just as she was beginning to feel helpless, she happened to find a magic lamp in her warehouse. She began to polish the lamp, when all of a sudden, a puff of red smoke came out. The smoke spoke to her and claimed to be the genie of beauty and kindness. The merchant somehow reminded the genie of her own lovely daughter, so she kindly offered to grant the merchant a wish. What could a merchant ever desire more than the prospect of more Mora? So, the merchant wished that she could earn more Mora in the future than she could ever hope to count. The genie of beauty and kindness agreed, and became the merchant's supplier, providing her with magical and fantastic goods. The merchant soon went on to make a fortune. Hearing the merchant's story, the fog dive became very puzzled. The dive and the genie were obviously of the same species, so how come the dive couldn't perform any magic? The merchant praised the fog dive's potential, saying that it too would surely gain the genie's great power if only it were to stay in the same magic lamp. The fog dive agreed and entered the merchant's magic lamp. Uh, is this a real story? Backstory details cost extra. Give me another 990,000 mora and I'll tell you. Hobbies? Sure, I've got tons of hobbies. First, there's earning Mora, and then there's counting Mora. Oh, and then I like to look at Mora. Ah, Mora, nothing in the world makes me happier. I always have people coming to me with business proposals that could yield only 30% profit. I'm a busy lady, you know. Please, anything under 100% profit? I don't even want to hear about it. I hear there's a dish in Leoe called Mora Meat. With a name like that, I know it's gotta be delicious. W what? You know how to make it? Well, <clears throat> you have been my apprentice for some time now, and you must have learned a lot from me. So, uh, in exchange for all that you've learned, why don't you cook some Mora Meat for me? Well, what are you waiting for? I can't stand anything that's dark and burnt looking. You know, like charcoal baked ajalena cakes. Ugh, I will never even touch them. Even if you paid me a million more, I. Uh, well, if that were the case, maybe I'd consider it. Mmm, yummy! What do you say we partner up, hmm? You could also be my personal chef. Oh, so my apprentice knows their way around a kitchen, huh? All right, let me order something. You expect me to eat this? <laughs> you better compensate me for the mental trauma. Today, I can grant you one wish. After all, I am the great and almighty Dory. Go on, tell me, what do you wish for? But let me just tell you now that a lifetime supply of Mora is off the table. Does this mean you're investing in me? <laughs> I always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. The Mora, the merrier. Wow, this is like having a bottomless coin pouch filled with endless power. Congratulations! You are now a VIP customer of the illustrious Lord Songima Bay. This entitles you to enjoy a 20% discount on all future purchases. You're also the first VIP customer ever, so make good use of it. <laughs>